J. Robert Nash, who is maybe one of the best crime writers in America, called me up one day and he said, listen, kid, you and I are going to write an encyclopedia of every movie ever made. I said, you're crazy. The American Film Institute has been trying this for 20 years and all they got is the 20s and the 60s. He says, we're better than they are. I said, well, what do you need from me? He said, I need 10 grand. We can advertise these books and see what happens. You willing to risk 10 grand? Yeah, okay. So I sent him a check for $10,000. This was uh, late 83. <laughs> Went to Scotland. He called me up in 84, in about de February of 84, and he says, kid, I got good news and bad news. What is it? Good news is, we got $186,000 in the mail. The bad news is, now we have to write these books. So I came back, and we started writing these books. And uh, we wrote, I, I wrote a million words a month for 31 months. To conceive of that, it's War and Peace is 500,000 words. So I wrote War and Peace every two weeks. And what happened was, they would send me, every morning, a packet of files on all these movies, FedEx. I would write 100, 150 reviews in a day. The FedEx would pick them up about 6 o'clock, take them, and the next day it would be the same. And I supported myself by doing the voices at that point. I didn't have any time to do any writing. As a matter of fact, I fell out of the Writers Guild hospitalization plan because I didn't earn enough money with the Writers Guild. But I was making it you know, from Screen Actors Guild. Uh, in the meantime, uh, at that point, I did take some time off. I, I flew off to um, uh, France to marry uh, Bob, Bob Morris, who owns Gladstones. So I married them, and I took off a couple of weeks to do that service. But I wrote these books from 80, early 84 through 86, and then the Australians bought it for scads of money, and I retired for two weeks. I got so bored, my wife threw me out of the house. She said, you can't be in the house. You're very unhappy. So I went back to work. But that, those books are the definitive, comprehensive review of every movie ever made. And what I would do is I would call the people who made the pictures and ask them questions. Like, I remember I was writing about uh, Oklahoma, and I called Shirley Jones. Shirley, tell me about what happened when you made Oklahoma. She said, well, you know, we shot it in Arizona. I said, you did? Why did you shoot in Oklahoma? She said, well, there was no place in Oklahoma with wide enough vistas that didn't have overhead um, uh, telephone wires. You shot it in Arizona? She said, yeah. And we planted corn a year ahead of time. So it would be as high as an elephant's eye by the time we started shooting. Those are the kind of stories I got. I would call, if I would find a name in the credits of someone who was a makeup person that I knew, or a writer, or a musician, tell me about this movie. So the books are filled with that kind of information.